visual effects for The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, encompassed hero digital performance work, large-scale water and fire simulations, complex digital environments, digital doubles of a large cast, and extensive creature work. A quarter of the shots in the film were entirely CG, and there was a big talking dragon as well. Getting Smaug to convincingly vocalise his speech in a way that maintained all of the richness and nuance of Benedict's voice was a vital part of making him work as a character. Twice the size of a 747 jumbo jet, Smaug's magnificent presence was brought to life by dozens of animators and artists using keyframe animation techniques. The centerpiece barrel escape sequence was an artful mix of live action plates and digital water, environments and characters. The sequence was augmented with 60 digital doubles, CG characters, fully digital terrain, trees and water simulations to create a perfect environment for danger, humour and excitement. The barrel sequence utilised 76 individual water simulations running 700 metres long and pushing 20 tonnes of water per second of film. Artists spent a full year honing the turbulent waterfalls and rushing river simulations for the barrel chase. Other digital environments in the film include Erebor. We glimpsed the Lost Kingdom primarily through two set-piece sequences, the Treasure Hall and the Forge. The layout of the Treasure Hall was carefully planned to showcase the true scale of the Dwarven Kingdom, and also to accommodate the movement of the enormous dragon and house an epic stash of gold and treasure. The Treasure Hall itself is about the size of the country of Monaco. Burying a giant dragon under a pile of gold that could be scattered as the creature emerges was easily one of the biggest technical challenges of the film. In the most complex shot, over 18 million coins were simulated and rendered to help convey the scope and disruptive power of Smaug's movements. And do you now? Truly. The forges house the once mighty engines of dwarven industry with giant bellows and an extensive system of overhead minecarts. It is here that the company battles Smaug and reignites the fires of the forges, creating rivulets and pools of molten gold. Conceived and built entirely digitally, this sequence runs the full gamut of every type of visual effects work. Lake Town began life as a highly detailed set based on concept art by John Howe. To this, we added nearly 1,500 buildings, occupying over 200,000 square metres, framed by the iconic Lonely Mountain. Digital bridges and buildings were constructed along the winding waterways for both day and nighttime looks. CG fog, snow and ice flows help give the town its signature Nordic feel. Thrandall's Realm, home of the Woodland Elves, offers a stark contrast to the human town of Fishmongers. The vast underground kingdom is an all-CG creation, hewn from honey-coloured rock with exposed tree roots used by the elves to create architectural features. Aerial walkways and elegant bridges span the vast open spaces of the realm. Digital performance work included the orc Arzog, who returns, accompanied in this film by his son Bolg, a new character in the story. Both Bolg and Arzog are full CG characters, realised with a combination of motion capture and keyframe animation. Creatures included the spiders of Mirkwood and the shape changer Bjorn in his bedroom. The desolation of Smaug was shot at 48 frames per second in stereo and all of the effects were built to this standard. <laughs> 